Good morning, everyone. It's actually Christmas when I'm filming this. If you can't tell, I have my Christmas vibes on. But anyways, today's video is going to be a fun one because I'm going to be reading the January TBR that I actually like unwrapped. I posted that video, which I will link it up here. But basically, I'm just going to be reading all the books that I pulled. And I'm going to be talking about them, kind of like how I feel about them, things like that. And we are actually starting this book off, or we're actually starting this video off with Credence by Penelope Douglas. There's been a lot of talk about this book, at least from the booktubers that I watch, meaning Larry Reads. If you guys don't follow her, you need to. She's amazing. She hates this book. It was actually in her, I think, worst books of the year. And I did start it. I'm about 20% the way through because I don't know what it is, but I think she even said in that video, she was like, if you need a winter book, I mean, like, you can read this in the winter. So I was like, this is perfect. I... This is obviously for my January TBR, but like I said, it's December 25th because I finished my December TBR for what I wanted to read. I did have more books on my December TBR that I could have read, but I was like, I, I really want to start reading my physical books. So we're reading this and right now I will just start off by saying this video is going to have spoilers in it. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Obviously, if you don't know who Penelope Douglas is, they, I think, are known for their smut books and somehow I got really unlucky in that video and I pulled three of those types of books in this little TBR so we're gonna get, get a lot we have two Penelope Douglas and then one I don't even know who the author is but it's like a mafia I'm pretty sure and I'm just like these are books that if I had actually read what they were about probably want to have bought but I just bought them because I saw it on TikTok and I'm an impulse buyer, or I used to be an impulse buyer. I am no longer an impulse buyer. That's a little introduction. I just wanted to start it that way. I'm actually updating. But so far, we have our main character who has gone into the woods with three men and she just met the third man and they like had an interaction and we learned that he's mute. Whereas her uncle Jake, her uncle Jake, cause it's actually her sub uncle. Let's make that clear here and her other cousin they look exactly like jake and noah I just don't like it i don't really like it at all i feel like it's tending more towards i feel like i feel like jake oh, i don't know but i do want to say i want to hypothesize so on the back here it says one of them has her the other one wants her but he he's going to keep her i think he he's gonna keep her is about um why am i forgetting his name already Caleb. I think Caleb is the third one. I think one of them has her. I kind of feel like it's going to be Jake, actually, and Noah is the one that wants her. That is my hypothesis. I don't know how accurate that is, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, I just want to just wanted to start it off right now i'm i'm just like i actually like can't stop reading but like i know it's like bad so yeah I just know what's happening right now. Okay, my hair looks so funny right now. We need to talk because okay, I'm actually rewatching Larry Reed's video right now for when she's like reading five star reviews for the book. She's mentioned credence in other videos, but this is the one where she's like, it's just bad. But she literally just said chapter twenty three is the only valid chapter, and I just read that and I was like I have to say, Penelope Douglas does write sex scenes well. I don't know if I should be admitting that, but like honestly, like she's a good author when it comes to that. Um, did I like anything in the other chapters? No, not really because I'm just like, don't like her relationship with her uncle. She slept with her uncle first. In chapter 23, she just had a threesome with the two brothers, her two step cousins. And it's so weird because she literally says Uncle Jake within the scenes and I'm just like anyways I just wanted to update I like can't stop reading it so I feel like I'm I feel like I might finish this I'm gonna see how many pages there are I don't know but I cannot believe I just read that that is insane I I don't know I'm gonna keep on watching this video while I'm reading though happen 
honestly. Um, I finished it and I think I just need a couple seconds to process this. Obviously, it's still in my PJs and yeah, I'm just having a lazy morning today. It's Monday the 26th. I'm like, I don't have anything to do today and I really just want to read. And if I'm being honest, I really want to read my other Penelope Douglas book or Den of Vipers, which both of those were on my TBR. But I'm like, I feel like I need some normal normalcy, um, normalcy because those books are all like taboo. And after Credence, like I need to read something real um so i was trying to remember the other books without watching my video that i posted and for some reason i thought it was 56 days but then i remembered the mystery book that it had was this cartographers i'm pretty sure cartographers are map makers i'm pretty sure i could be totally wrong but i mean that makes sense like based on like the description of the book and stuff like that but yeah this is a book of the month that i got in march and I'm just now reading it, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna read this. It's a mystery book. I've never read anything from this author. So, I thought this is a cover. I just, when I saw this, when I did have a book of the month subscription, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a little library. I think that's so cute. And the first chapter is called Library. So we're gonna read this. I'm a little nervous. Um, I guess I should maybe explain what this book is about. This book is about a young girl who her father and her are interested in maps. Her father has this map that she had no interest in, but then he turns up dead. And she's like, okay, this map that he had that I fought him on is actually important. And now I need to protect it because people are coming after me and the map. So I think that's like, that's kind of like the description of it. I might like honestly see if I can find an audiobook because right now I'm like, I feel like if I listen to an audiobook while reading it, that would be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It is kind of a thick book. Let's see how many pages. Yeah, almost 400 pages. So yesterday, the book that I read was almost 500 pages. And this one is like just, just over 400 or just about 400. So we got some thick books in here, so. Okay, I just think this is really cool. There's a map. Love that. Okay, we are about 26% or not percent pages in and so far it's interesting. We learned about the death of her father um, and she found her mother's old journal. We learned that it seems like her father and her weren't very close because of multiple reasons. There's like a reason why we're we're not aware of why she did something in the map making business um, or cartography, cartography business and her father essentially unowned her or disowned her but there was also the fact that she was like the reason for her mother's death like not really her mother saved her life and I think there's like part of there's some there's some angst there but we are we're in the present but we're like kind of going back learning like what it, what did she do so that's a little update right now but it's good so far I'm doing some book shopping while I'm reading so yeah okay so she found the map which I'm assuming it's a map that is like super important and he said that it was fake and I'm assuming it's not and I feel like he probably did it to like protect her of some sort but it's strange because he literally got her fired he did an ultimatum where if she didn't get fired he would quit and I'm just like very interesting like was he genuinely trying to protect her or was this some sort of power play? Not sure. Not sure, but it's getting good. We have another illustration in here. I really like that for some reason. I think it's fun, but that's it. Talk about the cartographers. So I just finished this, like literally just finished it maybe a couple seconds ago. Um, and I rated it three stars. It was a good book. It's a mystery book, like I said. I think at least that's what it's... I think that's what it's considered there was also some like magical elements in here um that was very interesting and again this is like a book that i've never really never read anything about map makers except for shadow and bone um alina being a map maker in the beginning so this was a very interesting world to dive into i really liked how it was almost like a dual point of view it wasn't but we had characters talking about the past and the way they talked about it, I felt like it put us in the past and 
it felt kind of like a duo dual timeline tandem timeline type of thing and i really i really appreciate it i'm glad i read it because this is like one of those books that i need to broaden my horizons to read because there's some good knowledge in here there was mystery i was expecting like a twist to where like a like the who done it but i realized the twist wasn't that the twist was like the decision the main character makes at the end of the book which i personally don't like martyrs that sounds bad we we love martyrs we got to because they are doing good but it's just like not necessarily what i'm looking for in a book and so that was interesting to read again i think the cover is stunning and i'm excited to be putting this back on my bookshelf as a red because i flipped all of my books to if i hadn't read them where you could see the pages and now i get to flip this very exciting now what i'm even more excited for is we get to read get to read one of my taboo dark romances i know i'm sorry i was powering through this i read both of my books in each day i'm like this is supposed to be my january tbr and i'm reading it in in december like what what is happening right now but i just can't stop it's so good and the thing that was powering me through this was because i was like as soon as i finish this i'm either reading birthday girl or den of vipers and i don't know which one to read i'm like let's look let's look on goodreads and see which one's higher rated i know this is like bad it's not real literature oh my god did be real just go off oh my gosh it did you guys are gonna be in my be real a birthday girl is rated 3.99 stars that makes it almost four stars that is insane and then let's do den of vipers diaper or diapers what den of vipers has a 3.56 so we're gonna go ahead and read birthday girl next and honestly i think that's the one that i was leaning towards a little bit more i know birthday girl was birthday girl is an age gap romance and I know it's not going to be as steamy as Credence because I watched like book reviews and reading vlogs and they said Credence is by far the steamiest. So I'm not expecting to be as like shocked, but also like I'm expecting to be shocked. And I'm just going to say this right now. After I finish this, this will probably be the last time I read any Penelope Douglas. I don't see myself buying any more of her books. Um, but since I own it, again, I'm going to be reading it. Um, yeah, okay. I will update you guys when I update you. Book reading update. Okay, so don't don't mind that. Either way, this just oh well. Chugged out a lot of it. I like I just have been sitting down for like two hours. I think I'm reading it, or maybe not two hours, but I've been sitting down. That's the point. I'm almost halfway through. I would like to get a little like about halfway through at least before I go to bed tonight. Um, but yeah, so far. I don't even know how to explain this. I cannot believe I'm reading something like this. Like, it's just so messed up. And I'm just like, anything going on, nothing. Okay, let's just preface. This is obviously like an age gap romance. And it's between a girl and her her boyfriend's dad. So very interesting taboo subject. I think the way Douglas um, set it up to where they live with the father, I think that was pretty good. And I also think it makes sense because they actually meet before they move in, which I was confused because I thought I thought it was the dad like knew and she knew how they were like related to one another, not actually related, but like, you know, in regards of relationship where they stood. But they actually met before they even knew the who the other person was to Cole or like the the boyfriend slash son. Um, so I, I liked how that was set up. I understand why it's called birthday girl now literally you find out on the in the first chapter essentially but we did have a pool scene which I hypothesized because of the cover um, the pool has kept on like reoccurring and so I feel like there's gonna be something more there we've had like one semi sexy scene um, I'm whispering I don't mind talking about this but I'm whispering because my mom and brother are literally right up my stairs and my door is open right now but anyways i remember what i was saying but it wasn't even it was just her like doing stuff and not nobody was involved at all and so they both like each other i feel like we're getting to the point where they will eventually like they eventually have to do something right i don't really i don't really remember in credence like at what point something happened but Maybe like 50% of the way through is when something happened. I don't know, but I'm just, 
trying to figure it out. Oh my gosh, wait, I had to stop because um, there was a point when he was like arguing or not, I think, I think the neighbor was like looking at her in the pool. Again, here's the pool. And he, she was doing nothing wrong. And like, he acknowledges that, but he was like, you do not do that. Don't come out here swimming in full clothes, looking like that. Because the guy was, because he was jealous that another guy was looking. Totally twisted, we know. She called him out for it. But he says something and she's like, okay, daddy. And I'm like, get that away from you right now get it away i don't want to hear that do not want to hear that but anyways join it like i'm not gonna lie do i think it's awful yeah i do but am i enjoying myself yeah i am okay hi i feel like it's time to update because i honestly don't even remember the last time i talked um but just in case i did finish birthday girl don't know if i remember saying that rated it two stars i will say at the end of this video i'm gonna like edit it before i do my final conclusion because like i said i don't really i don't really know if i've done like full reviews of the book but i rated it two stars and then i started reading 28 summers which i rated five stars i finished it last night and oh my gosh it was so good and i like love ellen hildebrand now and i'm like i want to read more um, I will say it was in third person, which usually isn't my favorite, but I thought she did it really well. I like the story. Hopefully, um, she continues having really good reads because I have three more of her books on my TBR for 2023. Um, but yeah, that's a little update. And so the next book I have, I've been kind of going back and forth between like a dark romance and then like a normal book. So my last one for this video, The Vipers, I will say this book is humongous. I didn't really like actually take account of how large this book is it's 137 pages and that is insane that is a large book and i don't really want this to be the first book of 2023 but it just might because i'm going to start it next i might start cleopatra and frankenstein before or like during um but this is an next read and i thought i would update i am intimidated but i'm also excited to get it off my tbr um, that's the motivation and after I read this we'll be on our last book for the video. So This is the next one. Wish me luck. Okay. Hi guys It's been such a long time since I updated this particular vlog I am currently trying to like edit some of my videos and I realized I'm not updated this vlog So we are gonna be talking about Den of Vipers. This was my next read for this like pulling my random TBR and I have not finished it yet. I think I'm about 33% of the way through. This is a thick book and I will just say this is a book I will never read again. I'm not going to recommend it. I It's not my personal cup of tea, but I don't think I'm going to DNF it. At least not right now. I think at 50% I will decide whether or not I want to completely stop reading it. Um, I'm typically a person who does not DNF things so that is the only thing like holding me to it um i also just want to get 50 percent the way through that way i can actually like well i've read half of it so gotta decide but this is insane um this entire like they own me now yes sold me they own me now this girl she bites too this entire this entire trope just isn't my favorite the fact that they're mafia and they are like actually killing people um and it's like the mafia i guess i read books where they kill people but their fantasy it's a little bit different i'm like justifying murder oh my gosh anyways i just don't think this is my personal cup of tea i in the next clip i'll probably update you on whether or not um i finish it this is also like look at how large this book is um it's so big it's also like over 600 pages so i have a while left so anyway Anyways, I am gonna go. Just thought I would update it. I'm back in Lawrence, if you can't tell, I'm back at school. So, yeah, that's the update. Talk to you guys soon. Guys, it is finally time to end this video. It is freaking May 7th. I've been filming this since December, since last year, and we're done. Um, this is gonna be the quickest wrap up. I just wanna be done with this video. I DNF'd this just recently in April. I'm pretty sure it may have been late March, but 
I don't like this. Um, DNF'd it. First DNF book. Don't want to talk about it anymore. This is a book that has made this video take so long because, oh my gosh, this is just... It deserves to go right in the trash, but also I want to, like, keep it to commemorate that I even got, like, halfway through it. Um terrified of this actually let's talk about a book that i actually rated five stars and that is cleopatra and frankenstein this book was gorgeous it's my um battery just died but we're just gonna wrap this up really quickly cleopatra and frankenstein was super good what i learned from this challenge is some books i should not buy um when i hear them like about them one time i should look into it a little bit more but i did like having a blind tbr I will say, having a blind TBR, if you don't want to read the book, it takes December until freaking early May to get your TBR done. Um, so yeah, I think I read six books in this video. I'm so glad to be like uploading this. So thank you guys for watching this video. It took way, way too long. If you remember me posting the TBR video back in December or January, I can't remember which one, um, like this video because then I'll know you've been here. You've been waiting for this. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope to do my next reading vlog will be a 24 hour reading vlog. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye guys.